G'day guys and welcome back to another video. Um, got uh, an opinion, got a point of view to raise here. I'm absolutely livid with this decision. It's uh, it's shocking. I can't believe it. And what what the heck, AFL? <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I'm going to show you some examples very soon to vindicate why this is a terrible decision. So Lynch uh, obviously got involved with Withered and uh, with a bit of you know fisty cuff stuff. And you've got, uh, I'm trying to think of the player that he, uh, how can we forget, for Collins. Collins, he uh, punches Collins in the guts and uh, he gets away with that as well with a fine little slap on the wrist, that's okay. And then he punches Hurley in the throat <laughs> and people go, oh no, but it goes up. It clearly, even if you slow down the vision, he hits him straight in the throat and it's a closed fist as well, so it is a punch. Um and goes to the tribunal and gets thrown out. So, um, I don't know if he's the most protected player of all time, but this is beyond ridiculous. I'll show you why in just a minute. Um, you've got a player that's done this action multiple times and isn't learning his lesson. Players are going to under his skin, and that's okay, but you don't have to fight back with fists. Um, just get on with the game. Wor worry about hurting them on the scoreboard rather than you know with your weak tactics. Uh, again, Hurley here, really, you know, Collins and uh, Hurley, yeah, they probably could have done better. Collins obviously did a wraparound on Lynch, and that wasn't ideal. Probably should have got a fine for that if he didn't. Um, and Hurley, well, probably shouldn't be aiming for hands and stuff. So, but still, it's normally the one that retaliates, gets in trouble, and Lynch just gets away scot free because he's Tom Lynch. So, um, I might just change my name to Tom Lynch and do whatever I like because. Apparently he can. So uh, I'm going to show you some examples of one player that comes to mind and one player that's been a bit of a scapegoat with the tribunal and the match review panel over a number of years. And the people go, oh, you're Geelong supporter, biased, yada, yada, yada. This is just, this just highlights my example the most. So we go back four years ago. We've got Tom Hawkins here. We've seen the Okay, that got a week. Cool. I can wear that. That's okay. That's a, that's not a good foot. That's not a good football act. And speaking of football acts, you got Tom Lynch doing three non-football acts, and he gets it all thrown out. No worries. And then you get Dalhouse. I'm only giving up these examples because they're just fresh off the top of my head. Um, you can go oh, Geelong bias, yada yada yada. But uh, they're just the most recent that I'm aware of at this point in time and you know, watch plenty of footy. But Dalhouse gets a week for, I believe it was a tackle on Matt Crouch and uh, a football action, probably going a bit over the top. But he gets a week for a tackle that Tom Lynch can do non-football acts and not get a week. Bloody unbelievable. We fast forward to a year later where Hawkins does a, not a full punch, but a jumper punch, which gets rampy in the throat. And he gets two weeks for that. I believe he may have even challenged it and he, he was unsuccessful. He got two weeks for being stupid, basically. How does Tom Lynch not get a week for being stupid? So that's number two for Tom Hawkins. We, we can clearly see that that should be at least a precedent or something to draw by that if you do punch someone in the throat or punch someone in the face or punch someone in general, you should face an immediate week. Why is our game condoning players punching each other in the face and punching each other in the body? I think if you're stupid enough to do that, you should go. But the AFL are protecting Richmond and Tom Lynch at all costs. Example and figure number three. Yeah, this one. This one. The one where um, it cost the Cats uh, a chance at the 2019 Premiership. Now, because Schofield falls to the deck and, you know... It looks all terrible and um, and like, yeah, this deserved a week, but, and probably a little bit more than the others, but another punch to the head, you know, punch to the head sort of region, a high punch basically off the ball, deserving of a week and that's okay. But why are these three a week and this is not a week once this decides to load for me? Hurley, exchanging pleasantries. So he's got to be a bit careful with Tommy Lynch, doesn't he? Cut the fines. So, 
you can say I'm biased or whatever. That's fine. I'm just showing you facts that from uh, recent memories that I'm aware of. Tom Lynch, uh, yeah, has got away with pretty much, yeah, a week <laughs> or some kind of suspension. The fact that it was thrown out is unbelievable. And the fact that Tom Hawkins continually gets targeted as well is just crazy as well. So there's three incidents, 2016, 2017, and 2019. And you've got Tom Lynch doing non-football acts multiple times in the same year, not too many weeks apart, but he's allowed to get away with it. And he's not going to learn to not punch because he just he's going to get a fine and he's on enough money that that doesn't really matter. So how is this setting a good example for kids at younger level? How, how is this a good for our game? Um, I'm absolutely petrified. I'm so frustrated with the inconsistencies in the AFL giving good treatment to other players and then not providing the same rules and same landscapes for the, yeah, for, I guess the same players for similar actions. Um, I hope you guys have some comments for me down below. I'm absolutely fuming because this should be a week and I bloody hope he misses a final because of these actions. And I hope players keep getting under his skin because I'm just sick of players getting away with dog acts. Early, you know, not ideal doing what he did, but the retaliation is not really acceptable either. Talk to the umpire or, you know, you don't, don't involve fisty cuffs with it. Um, it's not tough at all. It's, yeah, what, do the damage on the scoreboard, Tom, and worry about, worry about that rather than, you know, getting involved with little, you know, punches here and there. So it's just weak. So, <sighs> Tizio's Tyro, guys, I'm, I'm fuming, I'm, I nearly, oh, I nearly burst when I heard he he, uh, he just got off scot free. So um, if you want to get away with blue murder guys and want to be protected species, just call your kid Tom Lynch, change your name to Tom Lynch, and you can do whatever you like. You can get away with anything. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the rants there, guys. Um, hopefully, I feel better after yeah relinquishing that to the world. So. Let me know if Tom Lynch should have got a week or not down in the comments below. I want to hear you guys' thoughts. A lot a lot of uh, social media backlash on this decision. And I like to think it's not not just me going, oh, Geelong supporters, but uh, it's, it's me just showing concrete examples and facts that uh, represent very similar situations I'm seeing here. So hopefully you take that all into account and can make a measured decision. So chuck your comments down, guys. I really want to see if you think Lynch should have got a week or not. And appreciate you guys joining in and give the video a like, subscribe away, all that amazing stuff. Thanks again. I'll catch you guys in the next video.